Invite you to... Eh, no. $3,000. Of course! Fear. The meaning of true horror, right? Eh, no. It's one of the three pillars, but there's also shock and what my game is about. Disgust. But not just, ooh, moldy child, I mean something deeper, because horror is all about emotions. And I'm getting some pretty strong emotions for this 3k, so I'm gonna go in. Hello, I have so little money that a person with no money is actually richer than me. Over the next three weeks, I'm gonna be making the best game out of all five of my competitors, especially mashup games. Who even is this guy? There's of course a theme for this, which happens to come out tomorrow, so I'm gonna spend the rest of the day exercising my game dev skills. In between reps, I came up with the idea of making a horror game to truly give the judges a lasting memory in the form of trauma, which is notoriously hard to forget. Good morning, today is tomorrow and the theme is strange machines. My brain is firing on all cylinders and I've already come up with my main idea. And a couple side ones, but let's just say they completely f***ing sucked ass. No, literally one of them is an evil vacuum cleaner sucking people out of the street. <laughs> Here's my idea, a giant, half-mechanical, half-biological heart that hangs from the roof of an old barn and it is hungry. Somebody better call the strange police and put my idea under arrest. Basically, you're in a nuclear fallout zone, no it's not fallout, and you hunt radioactive creatures, it's not fallout. You find your prey using a nifty little thing called a Geiger counter which goes, it's not fallout. Once you shoot something, you'll carry its sorry ass back to the heart and three-pointer that shit into the blender. Y yeah, I don't know why I put it so high up. And I'm giving myself exactly one goal for this game. Make the player feel disgust. Because being scary as a horror game actually isn't that important. It sounds really stupid, but it's true. For disgust, I made the animal you carry back always be alive, still gasping for air, kicking around, and desperately trying to get away. Believe it or not, I actually voice acted the deer myself. I know, I know. Amnesia the Bunker does something really cool. It makes guns feel powerful, so prepare for your virtual eardrums to be completely f***ing destroyed. And if you don't think I'm innovating enough, you clearly haven't noticed that I made the world's first double barrel shotgun with only one barrel. Sound directly ties into atmosphere, so I spent a lot of time making it perfect. I gathered all of my favorite emotions, so here they are. Oppressive, gloomy, mysterious, depressing, dark, sorrowful, but not actually scary because all of this just helps get the player immersed in the world you're making and in the headspace to feel all those horror- horrorable emotions. Personally, if a horror game makes me feel any negative emotions such as anxiety, fear, disgust, shock, disturbed, or sad, then it's doing its job, especially if it sticks with me after I put the game down such as the story of Soma. And this is exactly why I plan to add story, just not now because, you know, I don't really have a game yet and it's also the end of the week, but I'm feeling good, especially because every night this week I reminded the other devs in the group chat about how well I was doing. It's called Psychological Warfare, look it up. Unfortunately, I still think I was the most nervous person on the call until I completely destroyed mashup games in an argument. Oh, and I also made it through and I'm pretty sure yes. I know why. Okay. Yeah. So, I put my sweaty ass shirt into the washing machine and got to work on planning this next week. My plan is simple, it's uh... Well, I'm gonna go back and replay my game for some ideas. <coughs> that was short. A little known fact is that my creativity is at its peak in the bathroom, so I'm gonna see you guys after my brainstorming bath. I'm back, and I say, let there be hyena. <coughs> <laughs> After a couple hours of work, there was Hyena. This guy will sniff your ass out from a stupid long distance, start following you, and as soon as you shoot a deer, he's gonna claim it as his dinner and run away. Thank god you can pick animals up, am I right? Absolutely not. Bro will smack you into next Tuesday, teabag your body, and run away with your handsome voice deer. Oh, there's a twist, but we have no idea what it is yet, and I'm kinda scared Blackthorn Prod's gonna make us turn our games into a tower defense or something, because Mashup definitely has the upper hand when it comes to that. Or even worse, they're gonna let Noah work on my game for five minutes. And I have one problem. I have a lot of problems. Right now, the game is go get deer, perchance shoot hyena, feed deer to the heart. I can't wait to do all of that again. It's riveting. Basically, I want to add story elements that'll make the whole experience more interesting. So first, I made the heart demand certain vermin. But we have a problem. Hearts don't speak. Or do they? Well, when it comes to making the player feel uneasy, we need to make them feel uneasy. Not know that they're uneasy, or know that they should be uneasy, or tell them to be uneasy in a stupid little note in the corner of a dark room. 
You've heard of Inner Wolf and all that bullshit, but we actually need to tap into our inner caveman, who was heavily influenced by his negative emotions. We need to do things that speak to our caveman's heart, and his heart will speak back. This is why the atmosphere is so oppressive, why the heart is the way it looks, the reason I designed the animals to always be alive and kicking about, and why I made these goofy ass screams for the blender. None of this is actually scary in my opinion, but our caveman will still respond to it. Even though his brain cannot comprehend emotions, his heart will still feel them. Anyway, this heart can't speak, so I made you pray to it in order to find out what it wants to eat next. It's pretty good. And if you bring something back that it doesn't want, well you just pissed off the gods and it's raining, which makes all the vermin hide. However, the game is a little too safe at the moment, and I love Amnesia the Bunker and Alien Isolation, both of which have a stalker type monster which only comes out when you alert it, so I copied their homework. This 7 meter, 3000 kilogram machine of an animal, sorry I forgot about the Americans, this 23 foot, 6600 pound machine of an animal is the Wendigo. Bro gets low-key pissed out gunshots, so you better be ready to skedaddle after you shoot. It's really cool, but it's not finished yet because I really need my beauty sleep, so good night. Today is the day of the twist, and I was stupid enough to put my biggest fear into the group chat. I really don't know what I expected, because Blackthorn Prod realized that my idea was much better than whatever they had planned, so naturally, they decided to delay the twist in order to steal my idea. Great job, Wishbone, you've really outdone yourself on this one. And then, for some reason, they realized that 100 flying toilets and Latinas on Unicorn back might be a little bit overboard, so we've been given the Wheel of Misfortune from which I got Metamorphosis. So it's time to have a bath. Okay, I'm back, and I know exactly what I want to do. So, the gods are going to offer you a mutation as a reward for bringing the right vermin back to the heart. So, I removed your ability to jump and sprint and added them back as mutations. Now that's what I call working smarter and not harder. It's been a while since I've tried the game out, so I'm going to go play it again and see how much it's improved. It's... But, look on the bright side, I still have a, a day? Unfortunately for the other guys, I didn't join this to lose, so I'm gonna make a plan and work as much as I physically can tomorrow. It's tomorrow, and I've planned out every hour of my day, so I'm feeling... <sighs> Keep in mind, what you're about to see took 13 consecutive hours of my life with only two bath breaks. Not because I needed ideas, I just smelled really f***ing bad. So, I added a trap that you break with your shotgun, doors that you must open with your shotgun, I made a whole ass map, I started a new area called the Deep Forest, I finished the behavior of the Wendigo, I added two more mutations from the Hyena, I made a tutorial, I added an intro sequence with the Recluse Siren that you must disable, I fixed 10% of the bugs, and I made a recap video and it's now 4am. <laughs> there's no way mashup worked more than me- I excuse me? It's day 14, so judging is about to start, and I've already sweated through my third salmon shirt. And I just stood there, as Noah waffled for like 5 minutes- oh my god, please just tell me who got through. It is. Fluffy potato. Thank you. <laughs> Fluffy potato! My heart dropped. I saw the gleam in Mashup's eyes. This was the end, wasn't it? All this work, just to lose to the one person I swore to destroy. The winner is... We're close to the mic. <laughs> Wishbones. That's right, I did it. I somehow cheesed my way into the final round against Fluffy, leaving Mashup in the dust, but oh, he'll be back. I will admit, he did put up a very good fight, and god, I was so scared of him to be honest. My boy Rug also went out, which really sucks, because I was hoping to have a 1v1 horror game final, but on the flip side, you can go wishlist his game Killer Junkyard on Steam right now. What I need is a solid plan for this week, and that all starts with researching my opponent. He, he graduated in what?! I'm done, it's over boys. I realized that this man is a level 100 mob boss and I'm a level 2 crook. So I decide to play his game, the top down roguelike shooter with a bird as the main character, Voidigo. Sorry, uh, Yonok. And it was good, I mean like really good. So I've realized that there's no way I'm going to compete with his gameplay so I'm going all in on atmosphere and storytelling for this final week. Something you don't know about me is that I'm terrified of monkeys. I don't really know where this fear came from but Curious George is my limit and Planet of the Apes is a horror movie. So I designed this creature with all three horror pillars in mind. The radiation in the area has caused this ape to grow an external eye, which is attached to it using an umbilical cord, and he's just gonna sleep until the eye spots you, at which point bro is pissed that you interrupted his slumber and he wants you dead, with the only thing holding him back being his only umbilical cord. This contains the perfect balance of each pillar. The eye with the fleshy cord is disgusting. 
Suddenly being spotted and wondering where the monkey is creates shock, and it running towards you creates fear. And the sound, oh god, the sound. <laughs> my inner caveman is drooling, and my outer caveman is what the fuck? I then perfected the atmosphere, I made an angler fish for the watery areas, a fucked up bear, and everyone's favourite, a low poly hand from the deep forest. I know it's a super hot topic, so from the bottom of my heart, uh, oops. So me being the mo monster who ruined your life, my bad. It didn't occur to me that I could simply just time travel back 4 months and replace the hands in the video. Silly me. Oh boy, everything is going so well. What's that? A new twist just dropped, let's go! Anyways, I told Fluffy to add homework to his game and I was told to add- <laughs> Rainbows. So I brainstormed and I ended up on the pain bow. This is the forest's way of feeding. You'll see these around where something has died as the forest absorbs their pain. And here it is. The final day. And I don't feel confident at all. The gameplay is really not good, so I'm hoping the visuals and the storyline is going to be enough to carry it. I also have around 14 hours of work ahead of me, so guess what? Wishbone ain't sleeping again. Just so you understand the stress I was under, this is the shit I was dealing with at 4am. And now it's 6am, and I think I'm fine. Yeah, I don't really know why, but I don't feel tired at all. So, I was... Until like 5 minutes ago, I finished the trailer last night and I'm really happy with it. Maybe a little bit too happy because the trailer is definitely better than the game. Here I am, standing in front of the council, waiting for my fate to be decided. My palms are sweaty, my knees are weak, and Noah is still yapping, please god just get it over with. There were 5 voters. Cast my vote for Wishbone's game. The clear winner for me is uh, Fluffy Potato. Just Wishbone's game for me it had this incredible atmosphere. Uh, yeah, he voted for a fluffy potato. It's going to be a tiebreaker. And oh, yippee, another fucking twist. Five minutes to split the pot. They gave us five minutes for this choice, but me and Fluffy kind of just looked at each other and said, I'm happy to split. I I'm fine with splitting as well. And then, mashup games. He returned from the dust, and I already knew my fate was sealed. So, in his final act of revenge, Fluffy Potato. And thank god he voted Fluffy, my game was broken as f- The Wendigo liked to breakdance, the gameplay was like drinking a lukewarm milk, and it was clearly incomplete. On the other low poly hand, Voidigo- sorry, I'm, I don't know why I keep saying that. Yawnock is super fun, really polished, and has some huge potential. Since I have money now, I'm making a steam page for Vermin, but please don't play it. The horror elements are great, I'm very proud of them, and the whole presentation is some of the best I've done, but the gameplay is awful. So, I don't feel comfortable charging money for this, or even releasing it as a full game, so I'm putting a demo up for it soon which you can try out, but honestly, just don't bother. The wonderful Judge Short E, who also didn't vote for me, gave me an encyclopedia of feedback, so I'm gonna put that to good use. If you're subscribed, you'll be happy to know that I'm reinvesting my winnings in this channel, so I bought a VR headset because I want to make some VR games. I'm also gonna buy myself some toilet paper, and maybe, just maybe, I'm gonna treat myself to a new pair of shorts, so definitely subscribe to see that. And if you've for some reason not seen the actual competition video, well, oopsie daisy, I just spoiled all of it, but it's a great watch and you get to see all of the other games that were made, so I'll leave it in the description. Now, this trailer is not for the faint of hearted, so, ooh, you've been warned. The cleanse, it's almost over, right? Why will I be free? Answer me, Father. Father, why did you make me do it? This is because of that thing. I sacrificed so much for you. isn't the only one that starves. They're all contaminated, mutated, beyond recognition. Even the forest, it feeds in its own way. I feel myself changing. Father, please set me free. I'll do what you want. I'll do everything. I pray for your blessing, to help keep that thing away. I see it every night, in my dreams. So, so vivid. But you always bring me back. Why, Father? Please, please let me die. 